hi guys this video is just going to be a bit of an update on placement um, this is my second week of placement I've just come off of a 12 and a half hour shift and um, so I'll be going to bed soon um, I'm very tired um, but I'm really really enjoying it and I'm learning so much I'm going to do a few videos over the next sort of week um, of what I've been learning and the experiences that I've had um, this video I'm mainly going to be talking about one child that I worked with uh, Monday, two, two days ago. Um, this child came in from A and E and had um, was was just vomiting basically, but had underlying conditions. Now um, this child had something called nephrogenic diabetes insipidus, um, and we saw this on his notes. And I was like, oh, what's that? That's interesting. That sounds interesting. Um, because we were handed over that he just had diabetes so we did his blood sugar and his mum explained that actually he didn't have a diabetes that did anything to his blood sugar so we were like okay that's strange um, so we saw this nephrogenic diabetes insipidus um, so I researched it and s saw what it was about and obviously I don't know everything about the condition um, but I just want to tell you a little bit about it because it's quite interesting um, so basically we have hormones in our body called antidiuretic hormones um, diuretics make you pee loads um, so obviously antidiuretics stop that um, they make your urine more concentrated so they make it more full of um, kind of toxins and things that it should be full of rather than just loads of water um, which helps your body store water for, for hydration and all that it needs um, so in children um, or adults with this illness um, the tubules which are um, the little tubes in the kidneys don't react to this hormone um, so because of this default in the tubules um, and not reacting to the antidiuretic hormone the, the child just pees all the time and it's like water um, so they'll be thirsty and they'll be dehydrated um, a lot of the time and they'll be drinking, drinking, drinking peeing, peeing, peeing um, and it was really interesting actually, this child drank so much and so obviously they're at risk of dehydration and because he was vomiting that's why they wanted us to see because he was at more risk because he's peeing loads um, and he's vomiting loads so um, we were a bit worried about having dehydration um, also with these children you can't have, um, they can't have IV fluids um, I'm not really quite sure why that is, um, I haven't really got my head around it but I suppose it's something to do with um, the kidneys um, I don't know something about how how they filter out the water, how they filter out the fluids. Um, I'm not 100% sure about that, but it was a really interesting case that we had today, oh, a few days ago. Um, so I kind of just wanted to share that with you. I've got loads of other experiences that I want to tell you about. So stay tuned in my next videos. Um, if you have any questions, just comment below and subscribe. Um, and I'll be making a video shortly again. All right, see you guys.